guys welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title or as you can tell by the thumbnail you already know what's popping today i am back with another video and today i am back with a hair review yay it's been a hot little second i'm back with a new wig guys this wig is by dy what the hell is this dy dy hair 777 um, so if you guys want to learn more about this wig, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so the hair comes in this package. Of course it comes in like a DHL packaging, but inside of that it's this. And the wig comes in this, um, this like satin holder and it comes with tissue paper stuffed inside and also like a little net covering it. Inside the bag, they also send um, a pair of eyelashes. Y'all, I never use eyelashes that the hair company sends because they are complete trash. They're absolute plastic dirt. Um, but these actually look pretty nice. I might actually wear these. So shout out to DY Hair 777. And then they also send um, hair care instructions. Um, and they tell you how to like deep condition, how to detangle. Um, it also has their their phone number, their social media, all that good stuff. Everything you need on this card. That is it for the packaging. So let's jump into all the deets on this wig. So I got this wig in a 12 inch. Um, sometimes I stretch it. Let me hold on, guys. Sometimes I stretch it like with the, you know, the blow dryer method or like a braid out or something. And when I stretch it, it stretches like pretty good. It looks like a, almost a 14 inch. But if I don't stretch it and it just sits on my shoulders, it'll like kind of poof up like that. But it does, it does stretch kind of long. You can get some stretch out of it. Um, and this is Malaysian Curly. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um... I had this wig, I've been wearing this wig for like two weeks now and I absolutely love it. I did not slay my baby hair today so we won't be doing a close up. Actually we will because I want you guys to see how natural this lace is. Um, so I tint my lace, so I bleached the knots and then after I bleached the knots I tint my lace. So I asked for a dark brown lace, they sent me a medium brown lace. Y'all us dark skin girls, it's like a struggle with the lace. like. Listen, we be wanting our lace invisible too, but we can't have an invisible lace if it's a light skin lace on a chocolate girl. You know? Um, so I have to tint my lace. I'm going to show you guys what I use to tint my lace. So this is what I use to tint my lace. And the brand, it's a, um, a tanning spray. I'm sure you guys seen that on YouTube. Um, the brand is Tan Wise. I got this from Sally's. And does it have a color? I don't know what color it is, but it's it's actually really, really dark. It's actually a little bit darker than my complexion. I would have liked a lighter one, but this is the only one they had, so I rocked with it. Um, and this is what my lace is looking like. My complexion. <laughs> like I said, I didn't lay my baby hairs or anything. I literally just plopped this thing on to do this review. But I love how the lace matches my skin because I used to, before I really found out about tanning laces, because I've been like doing wigs for and wig reviews and making wigs and doing hair for a really long time, but I didn't get into tanning laces until late in the game. So I would always put foundation, which that still works. You guys can still do that if you don't have that. But this is so much more permanent than um, foundation, and it's just easier and it just look it's a it's a lot less messy kind of in my opinion and it just it looks better um the foundation gets cakey and stuff mixed in with the got to be glue or whatever whatever product you use to tack your lace down this is really like seamless and it's not cakey and thick it's a, a liquid that dries down completely matte so i do prefer this i will forever use this to tint my my lace not less not necessarily this brand and this color but um spray tan for sure so on to the cons the cons the hair sheds a little bit the hair sheds just a little 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 bit not a lot um nothing i would complain about and of course it's curly hair just like what your natural curly hair when you're finger detangling or um 
detangling with the damning brush or whatever you use you're gonna get some hair so I get a little bit but this hair is so full so you really can't tell um, and I don't have any like it's only been two weeks but I don't have any um, shedding around my lace thank God um, yeah so that's like the only con is that it sheds a little bit and that's pretty much it so let's jump into the pros pros about this wig is it is so cute girl it is so cute i try to like insert some pictures i always say that and then i get to editing and i just don't feel like doing it but y'all forgive me i'll try to insert some videos or some pictures when i wore my hair like um half up half down it's like really cute super duper cute the lace is like Y'all, I don't want to show y'all because I didn't do my lace today because as you can see, I'm wearing it like this. So, there was no need to like slay my lace. But I'll show y'all anyway because y'all know I slays, just not today. Um, the hairline looks super duper natural. I didn't have to go like crazy on the plucking. I plucked a little bit around um, the hairline. But that was about it and the only products I have in this hair guys I'm gonna do a completely separate video on how I style this hair like wash and goes and things like that um, but the only thing I have in right now I just soaked it with water and then I put in um, a little bit of gel but I normally would use like conditioner coconut oil and gel and I really need to get like a curl enhancing pudding or curl enhancing um, some type of curl enhancing product but for now the conditioner, the coconut oil, and the gel is doing me just fine. And the hair is 100% dry. It's 100% dry. Um, I just styled it probably like an hour ago. So it's completely dried down. So what you see is what you get. It's not going to get any poofier than this. You know how some hair, it, it gets like crazy poofy? It's not going to get any poofier than this unless you run your fingers through it. Which I have a tendency to do because I haven't worn curly hair in a long time. I wear straight hair so I'm always like running my fingers and flipping my frontal so I have to just not touch it <laughs> if I don't touch it it won't get any bigger but I will come back um, in a couple of hours so you guys can see maybe it will be a difference I don't really notice a difference but if so you guys can see if it's like dried out or if it's poofy all that good stuff um, so yeah I'll catch you guys in a little bit oh real quick I am wearing the Born This Way foundation, the Jackie Ina slash um, Too Faced Born This Way. And I have, I believe I have Spice Rum. Yeah, I have Spice Rum, which is one of Jackie's new shades. Doing a review on that um, today, probably. So that'll be up. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'll come back tonight and show you guys if I'm looking cray cray or not. And again, one last time, this company is DHY. Hey, girl, I still don't know this. D Y <laughs> Cut. D Y Hair 777. And um that's the website. www.dyhair777.com and I seen this hair on another YouTuber and that's why I got it. And I'll leave the link down below. But I shall be back. Back. It is literally like let me get the exact hours. I think it's like five hours later. Six, seven hours later. This is what my hair is looking like. So I lied to y'all. I did get way bigger. <laughs> Before the record, guys, I had a nail appointment today and I was rushing. I was trying to film a video and I was trying to get ready at the same time. So I did not define my curls and like do everything that I would normally do. I normally take each individual individual section like this big go through and put coconut oil gel this time i just wet the whole thing and just like ran it through so it is a lot bigger i told y'all it wasn't really going to get bigger but this is what will happen if you do not tame it with product which it doesn't look bad at all i still absolutely love it i think i still look really really pretty um but it definitely did grow a lot but this is because I didn't tame it so that is the end of the video guys I don't have no mascara at the bottom of my eyes but thank you guys so much for watching if you have any more questions um, or any questions at all leave them in the comment section and if I left anything out I will leave it in the comment section again this is D Y H hair 777 dot com this video is not sponsored at all because my last hair video was sponsored this one is not so this is my complete honest opinion um i will be back probably tomorrow to show you guys how i do my wash and goes on my um curly hair units 
But yeah, I'm rambling, guys. So I'm out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. And it is my birthday vlog.